information. Again, we're in London. What prompted you to send in your video? Um, because the house is a bit of a state of disarray most of the time at the moment. I basically spend my time escaping the house. Okay. Right? Which is a shame because the kids love being in the house. As you can see, the kids love playing, Isaac loves playing cars all the time, Sophie really likes being here, but I hate being in the house because it's just always stressful. It's okay. always messy, it's never clean, um, I don't like having people around because it's messy and not clean, um, and I feel like when I'm in the house I continually feel like I need to be tidying or cleaning but never get on top of it rather than spending time with the kids. So, uh, so it makes you feel yeah. quite claustrophobic, it stresses yeah. you out yeah. to be here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And can we, so you've got two kids, Yeah. you've got a little boy who's two, two and, and a half, half. Yeah. and a daughter who's nine months. Yeah. So ideally at nine months you're still, you're just coming out of the you should put your feet up whenever you can stage. Yeah exactly. So exactly. you don't She's want to be... No. I feel like I should be on it by this point but yeah. I just what do you like mean you should feel like you should be back kind of, in control yeah exactly kind of i've had the stage of she's a baby you can't really do that much it's quite difficult they're both very little you know two under two i feel like now i'm like you no know, come on you're going back to work soon like we need to have things under what control. do you do for work i'm training to be a gp right so did you ever feel after you had your first that you yeah. were in control or did you just go straight back into the baby stage but i feel like it's got worse i feel like stuff escalates doesn't it when you've got small children if you don't keep on top of it because you get more stuff every time they have a birthday or christmas yeah. or anything they just get more and more you just stuff. accumulate and exactly. sorry to interrupt when you say you're training to be a gp that sounds yes. fairly intense yeah so does so, that mean you you've you've finished university you're at university yeah so you did six years at university two years as a kind of junior doctor rotating around different things then I did ten and a half months um, full-time training to be a GP before I had Isaac okay a year off from maternity leave yeah. eight months back part-time yeah uh, and then off from maternity leave again and so you're going back part-time going back part-time okay so it's not completely crazy but it does mean that like obviously three days a week I'll be at work See, but I thought that when I did my open university degree that was hard yeah <laughs> Wow. in an intellectual household, Chippy. What? This is like, I, what, I can she's... feel the brains. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, your job the, in, indicates. The... Is it because we hoard books that we haven't read? Does that, does that make us look intellectual? Books <laughs> always give off the impression of, of intelligence, I love I books. Find. I much prefer looking at them to reading them. Like um, what is in here? Oh, this is um, the cupboard of doom. That's what I call it. Ooh. I sort it out very That's regularly, but uh... it's your specialism, Miss. Oh, whoa! <laughs> so, um, on a daily basis, how often do you access that? With well, the high chair. Regularly, because the high, so the high chair has chair. to come out. The booster seat has to come out. Right. Okay. Some of these coats have to, you know. Do you find that stressful out. going in there? Yep. Does it make you hot and bothered as you're wrestling? Not a bit. Oh, wrestling, this high chair doesn't really come out very well. And then, so this thing is the only thing that contains the nine month old who is everywhere. Otherwise, yeah, yeah, so that's so kind still of, in use. I'm wrestling it out because it's like, you know, it's big and awful. Yeah. Got emergency chairs in there. <laughs> okay, so kitchen, are you, do you like to cook? Um, no, but I'm trying to do more of the cooking. Does your husband cook? He does most of the cooking. Does he like it? No. Nope. Oh, okay. He's so just it's not like more competent than me. Like my husband does most of the cooking since we had the third baby, but he quite likes it because it's different to his job. Yeah, that makes sense. It's yeah, like yeah. an unwind thing. Yeah. yeah. But if neither of you like it, neither of us like it. I'm trying to do more of it because at the moment I have more time in the sense that I'm in the house more. But you've got a crock pot. I know it's amazing. I actually love that. I hate cleaning the bathroom. Do you hate it? I do. Well, mostly because it's really difficult logistically to do. The kids sleep in there, so when they're asleep, right. there's not a very good time to clean it. It's a good yeah. sized bathroom though. So okay. This room again, just oh, the amount of furniture in here. Yeah, yeah, it's very broken. Are you still amount of nursing? Breastfeeding? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so how many times are you, are you up a lot in the night? Uh, variable, but sometimes. Is your son a good nights. sleeper? Nope. He's the worst sleeper of the two of them. He's oh, so when she's up, you're up, he's up? Yep. So she wakes him up. And when are you due to go back to work? End of May. End of May, okay, yeah. Beginning of June. You're yeah. like a superwoman. That's horrible when they've got. Um, the thing is, though, when you when you get to a level of tired, and then you will identify with it, and you will also identify with it, mm -hmm. you really can't get any more tired. So you may as well just keep yeah, going. And I'm just when you're not getting sleep. Yeah. It's it's a night. It's you know it's a literal nightmare sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So what's this then? This here. This beanbag. Beanbag. What's that for? Is that in case they 
Is that in case someone climbs out the cot? <laughs> no, is that a safety? No, a... it's just there because we've never got around to doing anything with it. We I used thought to have a volta, we were... like a no. cot volta, maybe. No, not yet. Although she probably would be. Um, no, that's just sitting there, and there's like a little storage thing underneath it, and it just it falls oh, off a lot and blocks the door. It's not very useful, really, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, okay. So, so I've got the nursing chair. Yeah. Oh, it looks and comfy. Just, there's just like nappies there's everywhere. Nappies? Well, you've got two in nappies. This? Oh. Right, so this is the okay. room that you don't like. Yep. Okay. It's in a particularly bad state at the moment. I'm at that stage where I've got so many different sorts and sizes of clothes. Because the yeah, last yeah, yeah. three years I've been either pregnant or breastfeeding or both at work or at home or both. And so I just or just had like, a baby and not fitting into your... Exactly. I feel like I've got yeah. just so many. And so kind of like here on the floor, maternity jeans, which I need to put away because I can now fit into my normal jeans. But oh, right. Show what, off. Yeah. I think it's safe to say then that you are in a transitional stage. Yes. You are, as you, and I think that is demonstrated perfectly by what you just described about your clothes. Yeah. You've got like... You kind of like, I don't know where I am. I'm going to go back to that stage for a little bit, but I know I'll be here. So there's almost three versions of your life potentially going on yeah. in this house. Yeah. And you're in the middle of it. Yeah. yeah. So let's. I need to have my sandwich. It's 12 o'clock. And you know it's 12 o'clock. Like... She goes off at 12. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need it too. Oh, okay. Like, the I GP says it's, it's okay. <laughs> like, okay, have lunch. so let's stop and have a quick bite. This is one of my first attempts to bake. It's just so light and fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Let's get some music on. Um, yes. What Chip, you get off your bottom now. Speaking. Come on. Pile. So right, let's have a pile for stuff that you need to access. Yep. Every day. Yep. Um, day, every day. And then a pile for. That's I don't know why that's there. Yeah. And then a pile for. Absence. Holding a child. Whilst you're holding a child. Yep. Wait. Yeah. Good luck. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I tried to do I, this one handed yesterday. Well. If this is me. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Is it wiggle? Oh yeah. done we are currently debating this because it's really important it's used to contain a crawling child but we have completely emptied so it, this has been completely emptied we have found this trofast and we have put we've got a drawer for light bulbs and batteries we've got a drawer for nappies so we're going to keep that really accessible and then we've got the ironing board and now we're going to work out how best to utilize this space underneath Spent 30 minutes all hands on deck in this room so we've cleared the floor so all of that cupboard now has been cleared it's an everyday usable cupboard to put a light bulb in there like, which you'd be very that, proud of it's my finest hour in that cupboard can be independently taken out without and it's so we've kept it kind of anything else to get it so you can pull out your area without moving anything pull out the hoovers try fast we've got things like yeah batteries nappies items um, sorted through the coats. We've cleared this sofa, haven't we? Yep. Really good. Um, She's a got lot a lot of stuff in that house, isn't there? Like everywhere you turn, every nook and cranny is stuffed. But also, even you at one point just had to sit on the floor for a bit and try and work it out because it there wasn't a lot of superfluous stuff, if you see what I mean. There's a lot mm. of stuff, but it's all toys that they still play with big sofas but they've got a sofa bed because their mm -hmm. in-laws come today so it was all stuff that 
they kind of needed but wasn't necessarily in the right place yeah so they've got quite a lot of homework yeah i think they have um also she hasn't got a lot of time has she like uh, by her own admission she's not wanting to be in the house because she's not happy with it so it's self-perpetuating she's not I'm, i've got faith in her i think she's gonna do really well i think what she's gonna struggle with though is the hanging on to stuff just in case she has another boy just in case she has another girl but you know, with sally and liz because they've both had baby stuff lying around i've said to them you've not i've been the one that goes are you having any more because i'm the nosy one mm -hmm. and they've both got no mm -hmm. so i said are you having any more she's like yeah Mm -hmm. So quick. Well, she's not even 30 yet, is she? By the time I was her age, I'd, I was divorced. <laughs> you were a high achiever. <laughs> Always been in. What is it? What? No, early, early, early developer. Early developer. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take my three train journey back to Gemma got on three trains. The suburbs. It's not even a suburb, it's Kent. <laughs> it's a different county. Um, I am. Um, it was very eco today and I bought a brown paper bag with my lunch in it and Gemma commented on this when she got into the car this morning little hint of bitterness <laughs> in that bag were no. some was some oat milk and some pecan nuts to get me on the long journey on the North Circular home what did you it. do with my brown I... paper eco lunch bag Give it away. <laughs> She binned it. Nothing is safe when I'm around. <laughs> I panicked. We were on, the time was running out and it just went in the bin. So before you all want her to do your Team Tom transformation, just get everything you like out of your house. Because <laughs> once the clock starts ticking, she's just there. <laughs> bin it, bin it, keep it, bin it. <laughs> and if you're not quick enough, let us, yes, let's like there go the gra pecan. a grain of truth in there. Welcome to the reason I get nothing done. I was about 10 minutes into my half an hour and this one woke up and this one never actually went to sleep yay so we didn't have a very productive nap time slash half an hour did we no about two hours on all of those bible notes and sermon notes and stuff from the last like eight years for both me and my husband yesterday two hours and i was still going it just is so frustrating when it takes so long i was like oh this will take half an hour put the music playlist on i'll be done when it finishes and i just get really annoyed when things take a long time but that's like eight years worth of stuff and is pretty much done. There's a pile for my husband to go through. I'm gonna get that sorted tonight and then I'll finish. Um, it's Valentine's Day, as you can see right there. And that means one thing, roping the husband in to sort out his massive pile of paperwork. How's it going? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> Good morning, we are on our way to Ikea. We've managed to leave the kids <laughs> with the grandparents, so we're basically just gonna have fun at the new IKEA in Greenwich and hopefully get some stuff that can help us get our living room a bit more back into order. Tell us about our IKEA detour so far. It's going really well. <laughs> What are you up to? Building shelves. Building shelves! Yeah, go on. Yeah. Isaac, I'm Isaac! Isaac! Isaac. Sweetheart. Hey, mommy, daddy's way. What have you got? Watch that lamp. You've got tape measure. Wow. wow. Terrific. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? In the midst of carnage, 
as usual clothes and also toiletries and just generally stuff I haven't sorted out for the last many many years it's slowly coming together and I've roped in my lovely mother-in-law to help <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hi. I'm exhausted Um, I've been through every item of clothing that I own that's a lie I've still got active wear. Active wear to go. Um, I think the amount of active wear I have shows how much I want to be a sports person and yet the amount each item has been worn shows how much I'm not so I probably need to just narrow that selection down a little bit. Um, I don't even know what I'm saying, I'm so exhausted. Um, just for context, our two and a half year old doesn't sleep. He's never yet learnt the ability to sleep. Our nine month old is a little superstar. She's slept through the last two nights from like eight till eight and nine till nine, despite her brother crying in her face a lot of the night. We've been up constantly, basically for the last two and a half years actually, um, but it's been particularly bad the last few weeks. Um, and yeah, I'm like, why did I take on this project? Why not just live in the mess? That's how I feel at the moment. Um, we are making progress but it feels very slow we did enjoy a date night out in Ikea earlier that was fun not a date night, a date day, a date afternoon anyway, we're very fortunate we do have family around and Jason's lovely parents have come down from Yorkshire to help us out um, so they've been around and helping look after the kids and helping me pack away clothes and build furniture and stuff like that so it's great to have them around but I'm just like but I must keep going. Right, you know when someone just slightly rains in your parade? Well, basically, my husband came in and was like, oh wait, what about all the stuff under the bed? And I was like, oh. so I was like, don't panic, you know what? Get one more thing done. So that is all of my maternity clothes into a vacuum pack. So I've just taken the kids to my mum's for the morning and look what arrived while I was out. I'm so excited about a fridge freezer, it's so shiny. Ooh. Um, so, oh look at that, it's beautiful. I love it! Yes, did you clean underneath? I've cleaned everything, yes. Yay, well done! Um, where's the food to put in? Here we go, demonstration of the new fridge freezer. Oh, oh. Ooh, pancakes, should we have pancakes? Wow. Oh my god. You've even got all the hangers facing the right way. I know. Look. <laughs> right. I think you would notice that. <laughs> that is incredible. Because the last thing I saw, Laura, was when you were um your last bit of video footage was when you were yeah. to put your IKEA. Oh you had... yeah. <gasps> Look at the floor. Oh I, my goodness. I didn't Look even notice this is like hello. 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 <laughs> Jason's actively doing the washing up. This is like normal washing up situation here. But look, this is also IKEA with IKEA's help. Oh, brilliant! Amazing. Look at that space. Oh, yeah. That's oh, look! I like this. I was really annoyed with stuff on the front of the fridge. The front of the fridge was just annoying me. It was full of stuff, and now it's completely clear. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look. <gasps> yeah. It's oh, so great. I think we went, I think we, I think that colour was the right choice. I think it goes really well with the kitchen. Hello! Hi! Look, look at the shelves! The little shelves! Yeah. Do you remember we found them in the cupboard of doom? Yeah, exactly. The cupboard of doom. Look, this is the book corner. This uh, is the book corner. What are they going to, they're not going up. He was that's the book corner for Isaac. Oh, uh, that's brilliant. So I you love it. So you've kept the um, jumper roo out. Oh, look at the shelves. Oh, look my God. Obviously, there are cars everywhere. There's now a skeeter. That's but... fine. Yeah, but that's just light. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's broken. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. <gasps> but it's still... Look, it's still... It's the basically still, still I've been so strict about like what can go in and what can't. And like there are a few extra bits. And yeah. um, we've got some hooks that are going to go up here that we haven't done yet. Because we got another extra chair because we needed another one. But it now fits perfectly. Um, but yeah, it still looks really tidy. 
this is a little fitness area now. Yes, good, good. I'm glad you got a little fitness area because obviously I think that's important to you, judging by the amount of active wear you had to call. And also, the the, wear. Uh, it got called a bit. The amount of hobbies that you've got going on. So on Monday, AO.com delivered you a surprise and a yeah. shiny fridge freezer. How? Yeah. And it's so oh honestly it's just oh it's just I feel like I've spent my life trying to like get the other fridge freezer to kind of work or be clean or you know these sorts of things like we inherited it we just got it um from the guys who lived here before just to have like a new fridge freezer is amazing and particularly because I'm thinking about going back to work and I love to kind of stock up ahead like freeze stuff oh, have wow. things yes. there, but, like the old freezer didn't actually work one of the shelves had completely broken and then like there was just ice in the bottom the whole time which we had to like carve out late at night you know every week but definitely particularly because our oldest has got loads of allergies so like yeah, we're like course. really vigilant about like cleaning and you know he has his own special shelf where we don't put any kind of dairy eggs anything like any of the things that he's allergic to um but yeah so I was always really funny about it this is, like, so, we yeah. should, so we should explain that your eldest has got a um it's anaphylactic to dairy yes so I remembered that right milk, milk yeah, yeah. eggs yeah no so it has to be so no, that's that, celery Celery. So that's an additional stress that you've got going on the whole time. Oh, so good. I'm yeah. really glad that that's helped. And your kitchen, yeah. I, I, I noticed the floor tiles. I didn't notice. And that's happening a lot. Yeah. It looks almost like it's just been done. I feel now that it's manageable. Yeah. Like I think I can just kind of, I can now, I think I can do half an hour here. I can do half an hour there. Um, you know, in their two hour nap time, if they, you know, choose to allow me a two hour nap time and um, I can do half an hour and then have an hour and a half to do other stuff and relax and not just constantly feel like there's a million things that need doing um, but yeah that so, kitchen looked like you could do your 30 minutes kitchen yeah. day and do a cupboard yeah. exactly mm. exactly so that's yeah that's basically the plan now now that we've done the two main rooms like our bedroom and the living room which are the two I probably spend the most time in um it just makes me feel so much happier so much calmer I actually enjoy being in here I kind of we came down this morning and I was like oh you can just crack on and play and I can just sit on the sofa and watch you like isn't this delightful this is wonderful um so, so happy. yeah I feel like I can do my half an hour and do little bits and it won't be completely out of control you work so hard you both work really 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 hard and that's amazing yeah. you should be really proud yeah. of and just keep it up and be really strict what what yeah back in to that cupboard yeah. so, thank, you. thank you so so much and yeah, yeah. keep up the good work and keep in touch and yeah thank you i mean i just have to thank you guys so much because i just think i just think i felt like i couldn't do it like i felt like there was just too much it was just never gonna happen um and you guys have just been amazing you came in and kind of just even just helping me do a couple of little bits and like giving me some ideas about what we could do just kind of gave me the confidence to be like no come on Laura you can do this this is a project and um, give it a week see what you can achieve and yeah it's amazing um so thank you so much you are, awesome. you're so welcome you've done such yeah. amazing... Which and, being good luck. Good. <laughs> and good luck going back to work thank you so much Laura enjoy the rest of your day Bye. 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 Right, so hi. Chippy's car today. Which is why Gemma. Wait, don't talk about yourself in the third person. Well, they can't see me. In my car, me. your car. We're in my car today. <laughs> well they can't see me. They don't know. I could you could have fired me from last week with all my sniffing. <laughs> We're in Chippy's car this week and I feel really Gemma's emotional. I actually feel really emotional already. <laughs> So I can level you out. Imagine if I was as emotional as you, we wouldn't get out of the car.